Well, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you're tuning in. This is the great big park run quiz. What do we do when there's not a park run on? Well, we bunker down with a cup of tea or coffee and we gather around our device and we answer a whole bunch of fun questions related to park run, the thing that we we love. So it's great to have you here. And we're just kicking off the stream now at the uh, the time of many people's park runs starting, uh, just after eight o'clock here on the east coast of New South Wales. My name's Dave Robertson, sometimes known as Dave Robbo, and I'm coming to you from Newcastle in New South Wales in Australia. And it's great to see some people jumping on the stream and jumping on the comments as well. You can uh, you can make sure you interact with us across the course of the trivia. A quiz here this morning as well. It's a big shout out to Lisa Thomas saying good day, and Timo Berg's on there early as well, as is Diane Barrera. Now, importantly, folks, what what I'm going to be repeating a lot at this point is the link to get the quiz. Now, you just need to head to parkrun.me forward slash quiz, and that's where you'll get your answer form. And it's important that you, on the way to getting access to the answer form, you'll just need to register for the quiz and it's as simple as just putting in your name uh, and your home park run and your country and then you'll be away and you'll start to see the answer form appear so g'day to tony giles from the uk it's a good e evening over there on friday night all this hi robo hello from wales are we going to have more people from the uk than from the australia the uh, asia pacific region here surely not Maybe it's prime time viewing in the UK. It's great to see you here. Still Friday here, says Eleanor Thompson. And uh, we have a Queen's Glasgow Scotland team in Kirsten Campbell. So great work. You're getting your heads around it, folks. Great to see. Sorry you have to put up with my mug for the next half an hour or so, uh, as I said. But it's a great privilege and an honour to, to bring this to you. We're going to have a lot of fun. And this is our substitute for not getting out for a park run here in Australia and, uh, and New Zealand and around the Asia Pacific area this morning. Uh, just pointing out as well, there'll be three of the great big parkrun trivias uh, coming at you. So this is our first one. And as we, we like to say, we, we kick off the parkrun day every week down here in the, uh, in the Southern Hemisphere over in the Australia, New Zealand area. So that's what we we're doing here this morning. Just a reminder, if you're just jumping on, folks, warm welcome to you. Happy Saturday morning or Friday evening or wherever you are around the world. But the link that you need right now is parkrun.me forward slash quiz so parkrun.me forward slash quiz in the comments we will put your put the link directly to that so head over to the comments there parkrun.me forward slash quiz and it's as simple as just clicking on that link going in putting in your name uh, your team name you can have a team of one or you can have a team of more than one that's absolutely fine put your team name in uh, possible bonus points for creativity for your team name and then you just need to put in your location which country you're playing from and what is your home park run as well. Big thanks to the team from Park Run HQ for getting this all going. And we joked as we were organizing that maybe this will be the new big thing, Park Run Trivia. Every Saturday morning it might become more popular than the run. So I hope you are you've been brushing up on your park run trivia skills. Uh, this is a bit like a, an actual park run, I guess, this morning, and we're at the park run pre-run briefing at the moment so uh, just getting you in order making sure you know everything that you know to have a safe and enjoyable trivia experience out here today uh, just keep your answers to the left we, we do park run on the left here in the asia pacific region so it's great to have people from all around the, the globe here in particular the asia pacific region as well up there in japan hopefully they'll be tuning on it'll be a little early for them it's five o'clock in uh in western australia so big shout out to any of the the uh, the WA park runners, they're either they've either stayed up all night or they're up early. But if you are just joining us here on the stream, folks, and we're getting a good crowd here, uh, just make sure that you need to first thing you need to do if you're listening to me, if you can hear me and see me, that's a great first step. And then you need to jump on to the link to register your team. So parkrun.me forward slash quiz, and that's the spot to go and get yourself signed up. I actually entered a team myself. I won't be playing along, but if you see the Dave's Running Club, they're in there and um, they'll do well to get off zero today. So you, you won't come last. All right. I'm the, I'm the tail quizzer and uh, I'll be there to, to make sure that you're all in front of me. 
So good morning. We've got Nick Pearson joining us. Great to see Mitchell Bucock, Alison Vushusen from Newcastle. She's a local. And Sally Heppleston, Friday Night Wine Club. Oh, well, we'll see. It's a way to do it. You're either having a coffee or maybe you're having a wine. Keep yourself hydrated here, folks. What we will do, once we've given you a, a few more minutes to just get things set up, we will be uh, officially hitting start. So, as I said, very similar to a normal park run. This is the pre-run briefing at the moment if you've just joined us. A big hello to all first-timers. Well, you're all first-timers here today for park run trivia. A uh, little bit of trivia of my own, and I don't think this question is in the, uh, the trivia today, the, the quiz today, but uh, interestingly, it's been, I think it was the 25th of September 2004 was the last time there wasn't a park run or a UK time trial somewhere on the planet. So uh, I make 5,656 days ago was the last time we had a park run free Saturday anywhere on planet Earth. So uh, there you go. That's a little bit of trivia to kick things off. And uh, we're going to be just warming things up here nicely. We don't want anyone to do a hamstring uh, whilst they're getting out of the blocks for the for the trivia today. So we just we will give you another five minutes, folks, because we are getting inundated with entries here, and we just want to make sure that everyone's got time to get themselves registered and get themselves uh, organised. Tie up the laces. Make sure you've got your barcodes. And uh, this is our virtual <laughs> virtual park run through trivia means this morning. So don't rush, folks. If you have uh, come online early and you've got yourself registered, go and, go and make yourself a cup of tea. You've got four or five minutes till we get things underway. I'll count us down when we've got uh, uh, a minute to go. So uh, we've still got a little bit of time. And if you're just joining us, a big welcome once again here on, uh, well, I want to call it sort of Parkrun FM. It's a bit of a radio, breakfast radio, breakfast TV but it's great to have you here. And what you need to do, folks, importantly, is jump onto the link parkrun.me and slash quiz. So parkrun.me slash quiz, and that is where you need to go. And if you're getting stuck, there's a link you can just click on directly in the comments. And we'd love to hear from you. A few people jumping on already. We'd love to know where you're playing from today. So you know, anywhere around the Asia Pacific region, anywhere around the, the globe, in fact. Um, it is a really tough time, folks. We, we know there's plenty of uh, challenges being uh, put up right around the world at the moment with the crisis of the coronavirus. And this is just something that we wanted to do on uh, from the Parkrun team to provide a little bit of fun, a little bit of a lighthearted moment and uh, and make sure that we're, yeah, we're, we're sticking together and uh, can still celebrate Parkrun, even if we're not getting out uh, to scan our barcodes or volunteer this morning. So lovely to have you here. I'm looking forward to the, the quiz. I've had a look at some of the questions. They are tricky. Uh, but uh, you will you will enjoy our questions here this morning. They've been put together by the Parkrun Quizmaster. He's been up all night, hasn't slept for a couple of days, I think, uh, getting these these prepared. So these questions. So here we go. Mel Urbacher is on board. Christy Shermer from Radelaide. Great to have you here. Brendan Walsh, Friday night, few beers in from the UK. So there you go. Westerfolds, Melbourne, represent. Thanks, Sally. And Joe Chamberlain, hi, Carol. We're talking to each other on the on the uh, the comments here. That's good to see. So we'd love you to share if you've got, as you said, if you've got yourself registered, you're all up to up to scratch with what you need for the quiz. Even go on to your socials and you can share uh, the link to this YouTube uh, page, which probably is the best best thing to do. Tell them the quiz is happening. If you're not running right now, I understand a lot of people probably still are running. And as you've seen on the park run socials, we're definitely urging people to stay away from their regular park runs today at the time, uh, the usual time of park run. And obviously, um, you can be forming teams, folks. You can have a team of one. You can have a team of more than one. But importantly, we're, we're, ma we're maintaining our social distancing policies here as well within the trivia. So, um, yeah, look after yourselves. If you need to isolate into different rooms or if you need to you know, spread, it, spread apart a little bit wherever you are around the coffee table, um, make sure you do that. We want you staying safe while you're practicing parkrun trivia. So welcome once again to everyone that's just joined us. My name's Dave Robbo. I'm coming to you from Newcastle in Australia, and it's a great privilege to be able to kick off the first ever great big parkrun trivia quiz. And uh, Scotty Watkins joining us. He's driving through a very quiet Melbourne CBD on, a, on his way to an isolated run. He's, he's wishing us all uh, good luck. Cerise Alderton, T here. My coffee machine has just broken. That is a tragedy. Goodness me. Hope you get that fixed soon, Cerise. And uh, good to see Sean Fry from Quins Rocks WA coming in. 
Mel Urbakak from Kiwana, sunny coast, and Paul Ellis from Tulurn Creek in Melbourne. And uh, apologies if I, if I mispronounce your particular park run today. My apologies in advance. And uh, it just shows that I need to come and visit and get taught a lesson face to face. So still just letting our entries, our register, registrants signing up here, folks. And it's great to have you here. And let's have a little look at where else we're coming from. Kedron up in Brisbane. My brother's up that way as well. So g'day to BJ1177. That's Bronwyn. So great to have you here. And another reminder, folks, parkrun.me slash quiz. If you haven't done it already, jump on and get yourself registered. You just need to put your name. You'll see it all there. But put your name, your country, and your home parkrun, and then you'll have your fingers on the buzzer. And if you're looking at the same page I am, the great big parkrun quiz APAC, and you can see the round one questions, and then we will rip through our round one questions. So in 60 seconds, folks, we're going to get things underway. So 60 seconds and we will kick this thing off. Our pre-run briefing is coming to a close and hopefully you're all signed up. If you have just joined us, parkrun.me slash quiz is where you need to quickly sign up. And if you turn up late, uh, that's fine too. Or if you're watching this indeed on, on uh, replay later on throughout the day, maybe you can play with a pen and paper as, as well. You don't have to necessarily register you can be watching and just play along with yourself in your own living rooms or wherever you are but uh yes we'd love you to jump on so we can see where you are coming from we won't be uh handing out any shirts for anyone that does 50 quizzes at this stage who knows we'll see we'll see what the popularity is like for the quiz but we will kick things next 30 seconds and we'll go and it'll be about 8 15 eastern uh, daylight saving time we'll start the quiz here so Thank you for joining us once again. Great to have you here. It's going to be a fun morning where strap yourselves in um, and this is what it's all about, the parkrun community sticking together in tough times. No, we're not being able to do our run. No, we can't sc scan our barcodes this morning, but we can stick together. We can have some banter here on the quiz. And uh, once again, thank you for joining us. So I think we can get things underway. Is everyone ready? Hopefully it's a resounding yes. Uh, sorry, yes, don't have the naked runners. Had Paul Sinton Hewitt, he's on board. Good to see you. if Paul's here. I think we can officially start. He started the, the actual park run years ago and now Paul's here. I think we can actually give the green light. Everyone sending their good morning wishes or good evening wishes to PSH. Let's see how good his trivia is. PSH really should be one of the ones at the top of this, seeing he uh, kicked it all off, but pressure's on. Let's see if he can jag a top 10. All right. 8.15 on the clock here where I am in Newcastle. Let's kick things off. Welcome to the great big parkrun quiz. And we're going to rip straight into round one. Well, how it's going to work, we're going to have three rounds, five questions each. I will repeat the question a couple of times and then it's up to you to submit your answers. You can see on the answer form, you have multiple choice questions. We didn't want to make it too hard for you. So multiple choice questions are there. And we will kick, on, kick off with question one right now. All right, this is round one. It's the Asia-Pacific specific round. Question one, what is the most frequent surname amongst Australian park runners? So just repeating, what is the most frequent surname amongst Australian park runners? And if you're playing along on the answer form, you'll see the options, Brown, Jones, Smith, or Williams. What is the most frequent surname amongst Australian park runners? So off you go. Question one, round one, nice and easy. And a big shout out to all the Browns, Jones, Smiths and Williamses tuning in today. All right, hopefully you've got that one locked and loaded and ready to go. We will be uh, summing up all the results at the end. So stick around, we will be crowning our top 10 and our winner. Let's go to question two of round one. So question two reads, what is the most frequent first name amongst female park runners in New Zealand? So what is the most frequent first name amongst female park runners in New Zealand? And a good morning to New Zealand. Uh, what to quarter past ten over there, I think. So uh, if you're coming to us from Auckland Christchurch, what is the most frequent first name amongst female park runners in New Zealand? Your options there. Emma, Jessica, Michelle, or Sarah? 
And a big shout out to all the Emmas, Jessica's, Michelle's and Sarah's playing along this morning. Give us a wave on the comments in YouTube. All right, plenty of comments coming through. Make sure if you're just joining us, folks, parkrun.me slash quiz. It's not too late to sign up. Okay, at the end of this first round, I can quickly just go through the questions. But question two, what is the most frequent first name amongst female parkrunners in New Zealand? New Zealand, Emma, Jessica, Michelle and Sarah. Let's move on to question three. Now, we've been watching the rise of Japan, uh, Japanese park runs recently, but I want to know how many events do we currently have in Japan? Is it 8, 10, 12, or 14? So this is question three. How many events do we currently have in Japan? So hopefully uh, everyone's playing this the honest way and not jumping straight on to, <laughs> to their web pages. We'd love to have a degree of... Uh, in the spirit of trivia, if you've done your pub trivia before, you'll know it's frowned upon to be looking up the answers on your phone. So I would just politely say that the same uh, the same applies here with our trivia quiz today. So how many events do we currently have in Japan? 8, 10, 12 or 14? All right. So this is the Asia Pacific specific round, our first of three rounds, five questions in each. No Google. That's exactly right. <laughs> It is getting serious, that's right. So wherever you're tuning in from right around the world, it's great to have you here. And we are ripping in to the great big parkrun quiz. So that's three questions done. Let's move on to question four now, folks. This is where it gets a little trickier. If you've studied for this one, then fair play to you. Question four, the average attendance in the Asian Pacific region is 123. Which event of the following is the closest to this average? Tauranga Park Run in New Zealand, Cooks River Park Run in Australia, Yodogawa Kasen Cohen Hirakata Shiku Park Run in Japan, or Taman Pudu Ulu Malaysia? So Taman Pudu Ulu Park Run in Malaysia. Which of those four is the closest to the APAC average? All right. So we're really getting specific about the Asia Pacific now. So they are your options. You're looking for which of those four events is closest to the average of 123 finishes. I should be more specific. 123 finishes, which is the closest to that average? Taranga, Cooks River, Yodogawa, or Taman in Malaysia. I hope you're enjoying it, folks. That's four questions in. And we uh, basically, we've done the first kilometre, if we think in a, a park run sense. So we've warmed up now. Hope you need to work on your Kiwi pronunci pronunciation. Is that directed to me? Could be. All right, so we are back with four questions on the board. We're gonna go with three rounds of five questions each. So we're coming up to our final question of round one. And I hope you're all feeling confident so far. Question five, can you name the first park run in Singapore? Is it Bedok Reservoir Park Run, Bishan Park Run, sorry, Bishan Park Park Run, East Coast Park Park Run or West Coast Park Park Run? So those playing along with the answer form, the results form, you'll see those four options there. Question five, we want to know which was the first park run to launch in Singapore? Bedok Res Reservoir, Bishan Park, East Coast Park or West Coast Park? So all these questions are, will earn you one point if you get a correct answer. And... They are our five, first five questions. And if you've just joined us, folks, not too late to sign up and register, parkrun.me slash quiz. And we are going to move into the general section very shortly. Some of you may have got a little bit lost in that Asia Pacific specific region. You might be, it may have highlighted just how little you know about your region. So you maybe need to uh, study up. What a great time to do that at the moment while we're not park running. All right, that brings to a close round one, folks. So Good luck. I hope you went well in that round and we will shortly be moving on to round two. I'll give you 30 seconds to get your affairs in order and then we'll kick things off with round two. This will be our general park run round and I hope you can hear me. I hope you can see me. I hope it's making sense if you'd like me to speak more clearly or um, go over something. But Teresa Cohen has come on. Toronga. Toronga Park Run in New Zealand. My apologies to all the Torongans. And the general section is coming. Asia Pacific specific is done. General Park Run 
Round two is now officially open. Thanks, Frank Alvaro. I hope the headband's not getting too sweaty. I do feel like it's, uh, it's high-pressure stakes here, so I'm sure you're feeling it at home as well. Great to have you here on Park Run Morning here in Australia or Park Run Eve uh, in other parts of the world. Great to have you joining us, and we're going to rip into round two. Everyone good? Everyone ready? Let's do it. I feel like I need a bell or something. Ding, 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 ding. General Park Run round two. Here we go. So question six, in what year was the first Christmas Day parkrun event? So repeating that one, question six, in what year was the first Christmas Day event? So you'll see this on your answer form. You've got four options, 2003, 2004, 2005, or 2006. And all of our, point, our questions in round two, all worth one point each. So repeating question six, in what year was the first Christmas Day event? 2003, 2004, 2005, 2006, they are your options. And we'll move now on to question seven. People answering on the, uh, answering on the YouTube comments. Don't give away all your answers, folks, if you're confident. Great to have so many people joining us here today. So let's rip into question number seven now. Hopefully you're good there with, with number six. Number seven, question seven, which event in, is the world's most southerly? Okay, so which event, which parkrun event is the world's most southerly? Is it Cape Pembroke Lighthouse in the Falkland Islands? Is it Jeeveston in Australia? Is it Invercargill in New Zealand? Or is it Fishhook in South Africa? Okay, so... Which event is the world's most southerly? And maybe you can tell us if you've run it. But, uh, yeah, be careful not to give away your answers in the YouTube comments. Shitesh Arihunta, Fishhook, just down the road from me. Well, is that right? Well, Shitesh looks confident on the parkrun comments. Kirsty Woodbridge throwing you down some smack talk, asking Neil Marshall if he gives up yet. So there we go. Good day to Danny Norman. Shout out as well. And uh, they're all jumping on here now as well. If you, if you haven't uh, signed up yet, folks, the, jump onto the comments. You can scroll back up a few, but parkrun.me slash quiz is where you can sign up and you can answer the questions that remain. All right. Hopefully you've, you've done and dusted with the most southerly parkrun. Question eight, we move along to now. Who has the faster average finish time? Parkrunners with the surname Walker or parkrunners with the surname Quick? All right, so who has the faster average finish time? Parkrunners with the surname Walker, W-A-L-K-E-R, or Quick, Q-U-I-C-K? This is question eight. So who are you going for? The Walker, the Walkers, the Quicks, or are they the same? Imagine that. Are they the same? So, a lot of love for King Danny. <clears throat> Great to see. He's having a hard time just reading the comments at the moment. Great to have, have him on here. And I hope he's brushing up, brushed up on his parkrun trivia as well. He'd know a few of these, I reckon. So, just f finally, who has the faster average time? Is it the walkers or the quicks or are they the same? That's question eight. And we're over halfway now, folks. So we've hit the turnaround at your respective park round. If you have a turnaround, not all of them do. And uh, we are on the way back to the finish line now. So hope you're going, hope you didn't go out too fast. All right. Common trap that we all fall into as park runners. I know I do it most of the time. But uh, hopefully you've just taken it out nice and steady and you're building into it for a strong finish. Question nine. Which of these European capital cities does not have a park run? Is it Paris, Prague, Rome, or Moscow? Okay, so which of these European capital cities does not have a park run? Is it Paris, Prague, Rome, or Moscow? Put in your answers there now. Some of you might be playing just uh, with some pen and paper around the, around the home. Keep your social distancing, folks. That's important. And uh, But great to see so many of you chosen to get on board this morning. In the absence of a regular park run, 
this is our next best thing. So I think it's fun just to get everyone on a YouTube uh, comment section for the morning. This seems like everyone's catching up beautifully over there at the moment. That's where you, all the high fives are coming in. If we can't do it in person, we can do it in the YouTube comments. So great to see. Final read of question nine, which of these European capital cities does not have a park run? Paris, Prague, Rome or Moscow? Hopefully you've got your answer in there and you're feeling confident, maybe even a little smug, which is fine as well. All right, let's rip into the question of our general park run round now. This is question 10. Which of the following is not a real park run event? So which of the following is not a real park run event? Your options are Grey Goose Park Run, Hockey Fields Park Run, Father Collins Park Run, or Gun Powder Park Run. Okay, so which of the following is not a real park run event? This is question 10. Is it Grey Goose Park Run? Is it Hockey Fields Park Run? Is it Father Collins Park Run or Gun Powder Park Run? Get your answers in there, folks. Is Darren Hetherington commenting on YouTube? He does like a good negative split. So hopefully we might see a few of those. We'll get uh, our stats, our quiz master on to maybe breaking up the stats later on. We can see who got a negative split in the quiz today. So sorry, Darren, you guessed the first six questions due to being late. Well, that's all right. You can still make it up, mate. If you get eight, if you get uh, nine of the next nine, you'll, you'll get a pass mark. So that's fine. This will be up later on, folks. If you if you want to play along, this I, I can't guarantee it, but I think it may be up later on. There's the opportunity to do that, um, and you can play along. Unless these questions are the same questions for the uh, European and the American parkrun trivia quizzes, which I strongly doubt. So this will be the APAC, the Asia Pacific trivia specific questions for you. All right, let's wrap it up. That's the general parkrun uh, round complete. We're two thirds of the way there, uh, just over three kilometers of your five kilometer run or walk this morning. Hope you're feeling good. If you do need time to just stand up and have a little bit of a stretch, make sure you do that. All right. Uh, hopefully your tea or coffee or your wine or your beer is still full and you are ready to go for the final round. This is the big push for home, folks. Okay. And we'll be, re we'll be reading out, we'll be tallying up our, uh, our results. And we'll be uh, getting those to you in a quicker time, let's, let it be said, than what you will get your parkrun results in, I, I suggest. So uh, it's a really a, it could really take off, I expect, the parkrun trivia. We might all be thinking, why were we running on Saturday mornings for all these years? We could have been playing parkrun trivia, having a great old time. Let's move on to round three. And this is an exciting round. This is our picture round. Okay, so hopefully you've got yourself on to the great big parkrun quiz APAC results form and you're on to question 11. That's what you should be seeing now. And there's a picture there at the top of the page. And the, quiz, the question simply is, which event in Japan features a giant ship on its course? So which event in Japan features a giant ship on its course? And this is a picture of said ship. Okay. And one of our parkrun volunteers there and a, a parkrunner in the background running. So... Wind in Japan is a giant ship on its course. And some of you may have uh, experienced some of these, but is it Futu Kotogama, pardon me, Futu Ko Tamagawa Park Run? Is it Hirono Kaigen Koen Park Run? Is it Meiji Koen Park Run? Or is it Shimanami Earthland Park Run? So you tell me what you think it is. There's the options on the answer form, and you come up with it. Which park run is that? You've either been to it and know it, You've done your research and know it, or you have no idea. So good luck. There we go. So once you've got that one locked in, let's move on now to question 12, folks. And this is another picture question in our picture round. Question 12, what is the name of this parkrun event which features this breathtaking backdrop? And I think you'll agree that really is a breathtaking backdrop. And uh, that's as good a parkrun photo as you'll ever see with a runner in the foreground giving the sign and a huge smile. So which, what is the name of this parkrun event which features the breathtaking back, backdrop that you can see? Now, is it 
Watarasi Yasuchi Parkrun. Is it East End Parkrun? Is it Kalgoorlie Boulder Parkrun? Or is it Queenstown Parkrun? So you submit your answer there, folks. What Parkrun do you think that photo, breathtaking photo, is taken from? And wherever it is, I'm sure everyone watching at the moment will put that on their list when park runs reopen again in the future. Giving you some park run inspiration here this morning while we play the great big park run quiz. Reminder to parkrun.me slash quiz. If you are late to the party, we're answering our last round of questions, but jump on and uh, there will be an opportunity if you uh, would like to, to play the European version of this trivia uh, quiz and the American version of it as well. So uh, more information will, will be on those on the timings uh, later. But this is the Asia-Pacific specific parkrun trivia, and we are getting close to finishing, folks. So let's move on to question 13. This photo was taken at a parkrun in which country? Okay, so this photo was taken at a parkrun in which country? Was it Canada, Norway, Russia, or Sweden? So obviously a fair degree of snow on the ground. Canada, Norway, Russia, or Sweden. No other obvious geographical landmarks in the background to go off, but see how you go. If you've run that one, it might be all too familiar to you. And uh, for those that aren't used to seeing snow on their park run events, such as myself, uh, it could be anything. So I can't help you here, folks. Getting some interesting uh, suggestions coming in. And uh, total chicken pie soups reckoning, reckoning Jamaica. Not on the options, unfortunately. Total does look cold. So here we go. Uh, sorry, Brendan, if you're not able to see the pictures, uh, parkrun.me slash quiz. You should see them there. Uh, and this is our final round, <clears throat> questions 11 through to 15. All right, hopefully your questions are locked away there for question 13. If you did miss it, this photo was taken at which at a park run in which of those countries? Canada, Norway, Russia, or Sweden? Let's now kick off to our penultimate question, folks. It's getting a bit emotional, and uh, the finish line is in sight, so it's time for a big sprint and give it everything you have. Question 14, how many park runners are in this photo? Is it 56, 60, 63, or 66? Okay, so is it 56, 60, 63, and 66? And please uh, remember the question is how many park runners are in this photo? And as we know, our canine friends, our dogs, are not included as park runners. Park run assistants, let's refer to them as. Park run enthusiasts, but uh, official park runners in this photo, human beings, 56, 60, 63, or 66. So. It is crunch time. Nick Pearson's just sitting back, calling himself the winner winner. Who's going to take Nick Pearson down? Who counted? It's a good question, Mel Urbacker. Who, who counted? You, I can see you've all uh, lent into the screen, or whatever your device you're playing this on or on the laptop. You've brought that up into high resolution and you're busily counting. So hopefully you are getting on top of it may end up being a guess anyway, but 56, 60, 63, or 66. How many park runners are in this photo? This isn't part of the question, but which park run is that? Someone might be able to tell us on the comments. Another seaside park run looks beautiful. Another one to add to the uh, park run inspiration list today. All right. So I'm getting word. It's a South Australian park run. This is not for points, by mind you, but Edith Berg. Edith Berg park run in South Australia. looks like an absolute ripper. So great time to be brushing up on your park run trivia, but also brushing up on your, your park run inspiration. It is a little bit cruel while we're in this time where park runs uh, have needed to be cancelled for reasons uh, that we know around health, but uh, start planning where you might go um, once park run becomes a viable option. There we go. Christy Shermer, Edith Berg, South Australia. Well done. You did. You got that indeed. All right, folks, so we've, we started at quarter past eight and we are now up to eight to seven. So we've got 22 on the clock. If That might be a pretty quick time for uh, some of our runners here today. 
the average park run finishing time, I think, around 33 minutes. So we might be coming well under that today for the quiz. But uh, let's see how we go. We're going to rip into our final question. Thanks again for playing along, folks. If you've just signed up, go to Parkrun, or if you haven't signed up, parkrun.me slash quiz. You can sign up now and you can go out in glory, get this one question right uh, if you can. It's question 15 and it goes like this. How many different parkrunners have completed precinct 18 parkrun Putrajaya in Malaysia? All right, so question 15. There's a bit to it. How many different parkrunners, so how many different parkrunners have completed Precinct 18 Parkrun, Putrajaya in Malaysia. So we're off to Malaysia. All right, this is Precinct 18 Parkrun, Putrajaya. And we're in Malaysia. How many different Parkrunners have completed this particular Parkrun? Is it 1,652, 1,875, 2,259, or 2,572? So they are your options. It may be a complete Hail Mary guess. For a lot of you, uh, even if you could look this up, it would take you, well, it might take you a little while or maybe you might be able to find it easily. But uh, in the spirit of all trivia, your pub trivia spirit, if it's if it's not okay at pub trivia, well, it's not okay at the park run trivia. So please, we would love you to not be looking up the answers as we go along. So everyone loves a sprint finish. That's right. Here we go. Dave Lumsden, five out of 15. He's not real confident. But that's okay. He's on the board. Great to finish on an easy one, Paul Butler. I'm glad. I'm glad you think it's easy, Paul. Well done. I'll give you another thirty seconds, folks, and we're going to wrap this thing up. Final question: How many different parkrunners have completed this parkrun pictured here, where the, the dabbing is go going on? And of course, that is the way to sneeze and cough into your elbow, folks. So looking down and uh, reducing the spread of your droplets with a dab. So. Answers still coming in. You've still got time to get all your answers in, folks. If you've missed the the previous 14 questions, uh, well, that's okay. You can still guess those, see how you go. And if you've just come on board for question 15, this is the one, the, the photo of our Malaysian park runners dabbing here with a gentleman in the tie-dye shirt in the background. He's preparing his dab. I think he's run out of energy to dab. In fact, he's probably not even thinking about it. He just wants to get to the finish line. but uh, this is the, how many different parkrunners have completed precinct 18 parkrun Putrajaya here in Malaysia, 1652, 1875, 2259 or 2572. Once you've got those, once you've got those entries in, we're gonna, we are going to lock it away. So here we go. People are viewing their score, right? Here we go. So you've got your scores, folks, but I'm going to read out the answers as we go, uh, as, as we recount how it all turned out. So you'll be uh, you'll be seeing your score uh, at the moment and we can go through the answer form now and read out our correct answers. So question one, if we go back to round one, question one, what is the most frequent surname amongst Australian park runners? It was indeed Smith. So well done to everyone that answered with Smith. Question two, the most frequent first name amongst female park runners in New Zealand? Our answer there was Sarah. So well done to all the Sarahs. Uh, to, well, and to all those who guessed Sarah uh, as correct there. Question three, how many events do we currently have in Japan? Well, the answer was 14 there. Question four, Cooks River, Australia, closest to the average of 123 finishes. Question five was East Coast Run. So well done to everyone that got those ones right. Round two, in what year was the first Christmas Day event? This was question six. That was 2004, the year Park Run founded. Which event is the world's most southerly uh, and so Cape Pembroke uh, Lighthouse in the Falkland Islands was our correct answer there. Question eight, the walkers. The walkers have a faster average finish time than the quicks. Question nine, Prague is the European capital city without a park run. Hopefully that will change in time. Question 10, Hockey Fields Park Run is the park run event, which is not a real one. And hopefully that changes in time as well. And then our final round, round three, this was Hirono. Kaigen Cohen Park Run with the big ship and what an amazing uh, site that is. And this is East End Park Run in question 12. That was our uh, correct photo uh, park run there for that photo. Question 13, Canada was our run in the snow. Question 14, 66, not including the dogs. 
was the number of park runners in that photo. And then finally, question 15, 2,259 was the correct answer there. So well done, folks. Have we got any 15 out of 15s? They'll be bragging about it. We've got a Kieran Beach with 14 out of 15. Feel free to um, keep commenting in the comments here. Tell us how you went. We will actually be uh, tallying up as we speak uh, with the official results now. So the quiz is now closed off and we will tally up our official results. Big thanks to Ian and the team who are busily tallying up all the results in the back room and we'll announce our top 10 very shortly. If you do need to stand up, have a little stretch. Well done. You've made it to the finish. Uh, you've scanned your barcode now. This is the time when we will get the results processed and we'll get them back to you. As I said, much quicker than you'll get on a regular Saturday morning. So I think we're going to have this thing done well within the hour. Uh, uh, run done, results had, and uh, you can head off and tell everyone how much fun you had at the big park run, great big park run quiz. So tallying up these, Jess Jeffries, nine for me. Loving having Robbo on the big screen. Well, wow. that's very kind of you, Jess. <laughs> Good to, uh, great to see you. Hope you're staying warm over there. Thanks, Nick. Uh, here we go. I just joined in at question 15. Got that wrong. Ah, well, at least you, at least you signed up. And don't forget the, uh, the European and the Americas uh, quizzes will be later on throughout the weekend as well. So stay tuned if you missed out uh, today. Um, it is uh, not... Uh... All right. So what we can see now is the results. And I'm going to read these out to you. In, uh, in order of 10th to 1st, and we'll see how we go. And I'm going to be reading out the name of the team uh, and where they're from. So here we go, folks. Congratulations once again. Well done, everyone, for taking part. Sorry for those that turned up late, um, but thank you so much for supporting this. This was designed to be a, a fun little uh, little thing to do on a park run morning here in, um, in the east coast of Australia and right around the world. So Let's kick off with our results. In 10th position today for the great big parkrun quiz. All the way from the UK, Queen's Glasgow Parkrun is their home parkrun. Well done, the cow for cows. So a little hat tip to the, to the cows there. They were in 10th place. In 9th place, we have from New Zealand, Cornwall Park Parkrun, the Capel family. So congratulations to them. And they scored 10 out of 15. Cow for Cows, also 10 out of 15. Uh, <clears throat> and our timestamp is what has distinguished between our finishes here. So the earlier the timestamp, the uh, the higher on the same points as far as I can make it. So in eighth position, the team from the UK, G Gedling Parkrun. Well done to George Sullivan, 10 out of 15. Seventh place from England, Didcot Parkrun, 11 out of 15. Well done to Bark Ode. Great stuff. In sixth place from Ireland, Trolley Park Run. We had the Trolley Park Runners on tour with 11 out of 15. So congratulations. Now we move into the top five. This is where it gets super, super serious now. Bragging rights 2020. In fifth place from the USA, Livonia Park Run. Congratulations with 12 out of 15 to Tim. In fourth place from Australia, one of the rare teams in the top 10 from the Asia Pacific region. In fact, only the second, it appears at this point, from Tuggeranong Park Run. It's the Mad Max. So congratulations, 12 out of 15 for the Mad Max team. And here we go in third place on the podium, just sneaking onto the podium by 10 seconds. And we have 12 out of 15 as well, 10 seconds ahead of Mad Max. It's Team Pearson from the United Kingdom, Bedford Lakes Park Run. All right, and second, uh, number two position here we have with 13 out of 15. That is great trivia work. It is the team from England, Didcot Park Run, and the team name is A167165. And so if you want to, you can, I guess, find out who that park runner is. But well done to that park runner. Congratulations, 13 out of 15. And our first finisher here today uh, looks to be from the UK. It also Didcot. Score, unfortunately, they dropped one. But 14 out of 15 for the Beach Boys. So congratulations to the Beach Boys, our first finisher here today. But obviously, as we know, it's not, not uh, all about first finishers. It's all about taking part. And thanks to everyone who's done that today. Well done to those top 10. And uh, it's been fantastic to spend half an hour with you this morning. There we go. That's 32 minutes on the clock now. 
Um, and as we said, the average time, 33 minutes at Parkrun, and we're done and dusted. So it's been fantastic. Thank you once again. Um, I think that's all we need to do. Good luck uh, for you know everything that you've got going on, folks. And from on behalf of the Parkrun team, it's great that we could come together today, uh, spread some love amongst Parkrunners around the community. And uh, we're going to be kicking off with the UK version of the great big Parkrun quiz uh, on Saturday morning UK time. So they'll be going to bed shortly. So night night to all you uh, trivia buffs in the UK. Uh, um, and or they might start for the night. And then Vassos will be leading the quiz there uh, on Parkrun morning in the UK. So European version of the great big Parkrun quiz. And then there'll be an America's version as well uh, later on in the weekend. So it's only just kicking off here in the Asia-Pacific region, but uh, over to you in Europe, you're next, and then the Americas to bring us home. So thanks very much, folks, for joining us here today. Something simple, something fun to do, to pick up uh, our spirits and brush up on our trivia. And uh, no one got 15 out of 15, so there is a little bit of work to be done. Uh, good luck with the, the following rounds, and please, folks, stay safe, look after each other, do all the things um, that we can to, uh, to <clears throat> you know, take care of our runners. And uh, when we get back to park running, it's going to be a very special day. So thank you again. This is Dave Robbo signing off from Newcastle in Australia. It's been an absolute pleasure to bring the first ever great big park run quiz to you. All the best. Happy running when you can. And we'll see you again soon. Over and out.